Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to do a fairly easy job. We're going to be mounting the, uh, the, the brackets on the wall to hold any kind of shovels, rakes, any kind of uh, instruments. We're going to put it up here so we can actually uh, get it off of the floor. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to determine what height you're going to put the, uh, the brackets on the wall and then we'll grab our tools and we'll get started. Let me show you what tools you're going to need to, to do this job. Um, first thing, of course, you're going to need a drill to drill the holes in the wall to put the mollies in. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a, a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver to screw the screws into the mollies. We're going to need a pencil, of course, to mark on the wall where we're going to put our holes, a ruler to measure, a set of drill bits to drill the holes in the wall for the molly, a hammer to tap the mollies in, and a stud finder if you have one. Um, a stud finder is good to locate the studs in the wall, so that way when you try to put a molly in, if you're hitting a stud, you will not use a molly, you'll just use a screw. But I'm going to show you how to do it using the stud finder, and then I'm going to show you another way to do it without using the stud finder, so that your holes are not too big in the wall, and you won't be able to screw the screw in properly. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark on the wall the height that we want them and the location. So, uh, let me put that up on the wall and uh, we'll get started on that. Shut up a second. Okay, so now we've determined where we're going to put the, uh, the holes in the wall to put the mollies in. I marked on the wall. You can see all the marks already where this bracket is going to go. So, we're going to put this now down and we're going to put the, we're going to put the mollies in the wall. Now, what I'm going to do, the molly is actually this size. That's how thick the molly is. All right, but what we're going to do is if I drill a hole this big in the wall and I hit a stud in the wall, this screw is going to be too big for that hole right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to check it with a stud finder first and we're going to see where the studs are. If you don't have a stud finder, at that point what you're going to do is you're going to drill it with a very small um, drill bit just to see where, the, uh, the, where the, the beams are in the wall. So first thing we're going to do now is we're going to grab our stud finder. What we're going to do is we're going to take the small drill bit first and we're just going to check to make sure where the, um, where the beams are. So we're going to put a very small drill bit in our drill and then we're going to put a very small hole. Put your hand on the front here. You don't want to drill and have this pop through the drywall. Um, so we're going to use a small drill bit to drill the small hole so we make sure that we don't hit the beams. All right, so we're going to take this and drill each one of them first. Hold your hand around the back of the drill because you don't want to have the drill slip and hit the wall and chew up a hole with this part of the chuck. So let's do that. Now, if you're going to be putting a molly in, we're going to make this hole a little bit bigger now. That's our beam, so we're not going to do anything there. Take a 
molly. Put your molly up on the hole here, and we're going to tap it in until it's flush. That one you remember was the beam. Okay. Now that one we're not going to do anything with because back inside the wall right here is probably going to be a metal register that runs from the from the ceiling down so this we're not going to do anything with okay now in this case I'm going to screw it in with this but you can use a regular Phillips head screwdriver as well. So let me start them with the Phillips head and then we'll continue with the uh, with the electric drill. We're just going to catch it by hand for now. We're going to do the same thing on the other end over here. Remember, we were going to skip that one, and this one is our beam. Well, like I said, you can screw it in with the screwdriver, or you can screw it in the rest of the way with the, with the drill. We're just going to snug it up. We're not going to push it really hard. Because the problem is if you drill this in, if you screw this screw in too tight, you're going to strip out the molly and it won't hold. We'll do the same thing right here. That's it, our bracket is now mounted to the wall, and like I said, we're not going to do anything with this, and we're not going to put anything here either, because we know that there's going to be a 12-inch register right here, so we know we can't put anything in there. But that's it, this bracket is done. We are now going to mount another bracket. Directly next to it, over here. Um, but uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, the other bracket you're going to mount the exact same way. I'm not going to show you that because you're actually just duplicating what we did here. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to <laughs> make sure that our brooms and everything fit on there just the way they're supposed to. So uh, that's it. You're all done. Gets everything off the floor and it makes it more neater so it's not interfering with any cars or whatever inside the garage. All right, that's it. We're done. We'll see what we're going to film next and uh, on to the next project. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, you got the wrong end there. You got to turn around. Look at mommy over there. So you're on. Okay, and these are my two helpers just here to supervise to make sure everything goes according to plan and we get everything at the right height. Now they're probably tired, so I'm sure they're going to go lay down on the floor over there, but. Uh, We'll get started and let's get this job done.